Ladies and gentlemen, he has arrived. Oh. Well, actually, he never went away, technically. He just, you know, wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny, mm -hmm. and all that. Welcome, everybody, to our newest Marvel Plus review show of Loki, titled Chaos Control. And yes, you should be confused if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, but we're not talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Nope, not today, not ever. Well, maybe one day if they make a good movie. <laughs> maybe one day if Disney buys them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shh, I'm gonna jinx it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, welcome back everyone who's been watching all of our other shows. So, of course, today we are talking about the long-awaited Loki show. We all knew this was coming ever since, uh, it was it Endgame? Everybody's been like, you know, on edge, wanting to know where the hell Loki went after he stole the Tesseract, uh, you know, what happens in that timeline, and if this is going to be, like, him becoming an anti-hero again, or going full-on villain, like, there's so many possibilities. I gotta say, like, I, well, I have never been as crazy about, about Loki as I know other fans have. I have friends who were, like, gaga over Loki, and I can sort of understand his appeal, you know, he's a good-looking guy, he's chaos incarnate, he does whatever he pleases, and he kind of like makes you feel just bad enough for him where you can kind of root for mm. him when he's down. And he's also <laughs> just a genuinely fun character. Yeah, yeah. plus Tom Hiddleston is just mm. like, he he's a treasure. I love that man. <laughs> I love seeing the videos where he goes to cons dressed up as Loki and he just eats it all up. He's like going on stage being like, say my name. <laughs> I, I do admit, like, out of all the uh, Marvel stuff that's been told to uh, premiere on Disney+, Plus, this actually was something I was legitimately looking, for, looking forward to. And, uh, of course, we'll see how they incorporate uh, Owen Wilson into uh, the universe. Wow. 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 <laughs> Anything you want to add before we uh, start this? Oh, boy. I, I mean, from seeing the trailers and stuff, <laughs> it looks like we're in for some things. <laughs> And stuff. <laughs> and it's, it's going to be weird given that it's like, take everything you know about Loki and only remember from 2012 mm. because everything else doesn't matter because that version of Loki is dead now. <laughs> Screw your continuity. You're starting over from scratch again because that's the Marvel way. <laughs> yeah, that, that's one thing we definitely got to keep in mind about all this. This is... You know, this is like, I don't want to say basic Loki, because that was technically in Thor. This is like, you said, uh, level one Loki, I want to mm. say. You know, it's before he uh, started actually helping his brother to save the world. It's before he started rescuing people. It's before both of his parents uh, got killed. Mm. Uh, before his sister destroyed all of Asgard. And before, you know, like we said, he kind of established himself as an anti-hero and actually sacrificed himself to save Thor. So, all that character development just pfft, out the window. We have no idea if it's gonna like come up in this, if someone's gonna tell him about his alternate timeline self, or if maybe he kinda goes the same route, just in a different direction. But that's the intrigue of this, mm -hmm. is that, you know, we're in a brand new dimension slash timeline, whatever, so the possibilities are endless. So without further ado, we're going to start the first episode titled Glorious Purpose. Such a burden. <laughs> if that isn't a Loki title, I don't know what it is. So let's not wait any further. Play. Last time on Endgame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, honestly, how do you think Loki does? Stop, stop. Poor Hulk. Always gotta take the stairs. Can you imagine if somebody started watching this and they didn't see Endgame? <laughs> They'd be so confused. Mm -hmm. up. Hey, Ant-Man wasn't in the first Avengers movie. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you are watching so like something like Loki and have not seen the movies up to this point, you're you're just flat flat and stupid. <laughs> I mean, it, let's be honest with any of the Marvel Plus series. Yeah, because I had a coworker once that tried to see Infinity Game, Infinity Wars, without having seen any of the previous movies, and I'm like, are you for real? <laughs> you have a lot of homework ahead of you. <laughs> Y'all gonna be so confused. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the movies, and we're still going to be confused. <laughs> it's like that meme. It's like, hey, so how did Loki get to this point? I'm glad you asked. 
<laughs> like four hour long uh, recording. <laughs> Gobi Desert, Mongolia. As opposed to Gobi Desert, Illinois. <laughs> I've been falling for 30 minutes! <laughs> I know, I know, we all hate wearing masks. Get on with it. That was one crazy Yonka pork. <laughs> and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Roll credits! Yeah, could you see? <laughs> 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 Forget that. Let's start off. <laughs> On behalf of the Time Variance Authority, I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Hands up. Where the fuck were you guys during Endgame? <laughs> it's been a very long day. And I think I've had my fill of idiots in armored suits telling me what to do. So <laughs> if you don't mind, this is actually your last chance. Now get out of my way. Ooh. Ooh. She smacked the time out of him. <laughs> That's attractive. <laughs> <laughs> You're now moving at what sixteenth speed? <laughs> oh no, he's stuck in a Zack Snyder film. <laughs> now there's too much color. <laughs> Surprised she's able to touch that. Doesn't, doesn't anyone who touch it like get transported? Mm. That's like some men in black shit. Mm. <laughs> and now they're in the seventies. <laughs> Space is working. Time is bendable. <laughs> what is this place? That oh, scroll. Yeah. That color scheme's oh, ugly. <laughs> Can you at least tell me what it is? <laughs> it's the Tesseract. Be very careful with it. Sounds dark. Yeah, just hand, just hand one of the most powerful like stones in the universe to an intern. <laughs> the hell is that thing? <laughs> yeah, something like that in Portal. <laughs> Oh! Oh my! I only know the Loki fans, uh... <laughs> Start off right with the fan yeah. service. With abs. Kitty! Aw. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. This. <laughs> what? <laughs> sign this too. <laughs> oh, this is absurd. Add to the file. <laughs> and this. You're gonna be there a long time, boy. Please confirm to your knowledge that you are not a fully robotic being. We're born an organic creature and do, in fact, possess what many cultures would call a soul. <laughs> My knowledge. God, this is like being stuck at the DMV. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't a robot, I didn't know it. <laughs> the machine would melt you from the inside out. Please move along, sir. <laughs> Good to know. Take a ticket. Yeah, the TSA is getting real strict these days. <laughs> no. Take a ticket. There's only two of us in here. <laughs> this is the fucking DMV, oh my god. This is a mistake, I shouldn't be here. Hi there. You're probably saying this is a mistake. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle? There was a vast multiversal war. Maybe you started an uprising, or were just late for work. Whatever it was, stepping <laughs> off your path created a nexus event, which left unchecked could branch off into madness, leading to another multiversal war. But it sounds like this happens to often. To make sure that doesn't happen, the timekeepers created the TVA and all its incredible workers. Yeah, the you're all TVA doing a bang-up job. Strange. He must be number one on their shit list in this uh, universe. 
I guess because Steve went back and, you know, returned everything, so... Is the Da Vinci Code now? <laughs> Or so you think. Hey yo, what's this about the time? Isn't this fucking up the time stream though? To say The devil. It's Mephisto! He finally arrived! <laughs> it was Mephisto. <laughs> <laughs> Got blue on ya. Give him gum? Devil bearing gifts. Go ahead and run this for sequence period and then he hits him. It's just me as Owen Wilson's nose get more broken in every film he's in. He just has uh, one of those punchable faces, I guess. <laughs> I won't argue with that. <laughs> Are you guilty or not guilty, sir? Guilty of being the god of mischief, yes. Huh? He said guilty! Finding all this incredibly tedious, yes. Guilty of a crime against the sacred timeline. Absolutely not, you have the wrong person. Oh, really? And who should we have? I suspect the Avengers. You see, I'm possessed of the Tesseract because they travel through time. No doubt in a last ditch effort to stave off my ascent to God King. How do you know that? Or asked, how did you know that? Did you read the script? Oh, what's that? The time the criminals? It's they you should be after. What they did was supposed to happen. You escaping was not. <laughs> right. So he's uh, guilty not to happen. by action of fleeing. According to who? I'm sorry, but they're quite busy. Oh, they are? What are they doing? Dictating the proper flow of time. I see. And then what do you do? Dictate the proper flow of time according to their dictations. How do you plead? Guilty. On this. Dude, did you really think your magic would work here? Come on. What's going on? Hang on. I broke one. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to use his powers, man. Don't watch me. Damn it! Why would it work? Magic powers. They're no good in the TVA, Mr. Lapison. The court finds you guilty. Obviously. Uh, the be reset. Next case, please. Reset. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? You get to go back and turn me on and off. Again. <laughs> you will dictate how my story ends. Anything goes sideways. It's on you. Like I said, very punchable face. <laughs> I hear you. I uh, am speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you where my desk is. You can start there. <laughs> oh, sweet there are a lot of orange and copper tones in this. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, though. It's like a Tomorrowland yeah. setting. <laughs> Disney World in the future. <laughs> Disney World outside of time. It is. <laughs> and unfortunately, so is all the paperwork. This place is a nightmare. That's another department. Now that department I'll help you burn down. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Disney World. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
finish what I started, which is claim my throne. You want to be king? I don't want to be. I was born to be. No, no, but king of what exactly? Loki, the king of space. <laughs> Mock me if you dare. It sounds but stupid when you put it that way. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm actually a fan. I'm wondering why does someone with so much range just want to rule? Especially when you're so bad at it. I would have made it easy for them. <laughs> Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super smart. Bad smart. I know. Eh. Okay. What is this? A sampling of your greatest hits, if I may. I was gonna show him one of the... Huh. drinking anyway. It's funny. Didn't the Avengers come together to literally avenge him by defeating you? Little solace to a dead man. Do you enjoy hurting him? Well, he didn't actually die, but whatever. Small, making them feel afraid. Your games don't frighten me. Making them feel little. I know what I am. A murderer? A liberator. Eyeballs, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile. You are enjoying that. Oh, is he on Mad Men? <laughs> oh, miss. Yes, Mr. Gipper. I have a bomb. Jeez. Why was he on a plane? I thought he could tell us. Robin, I'm down. young and I lost a bet to Thor. Where was the TVA when I was meddling with these affairs of men? Well, we were right there with you. Just <laughs> a little psycho babble. What is it that you think that you're really running from? Enough. <laughs> Back in your cage. See, I can play the heavy keys too. Don't I'll make me get the hose. Point. They seem to, I'll do what I want to do. Sure. Whatever, I do what I want. What exactly is it that you want? I want you to be honest about why you do what you do. Liar. Because I'm a villain, that's plain and simple. All I seek is a deeper understanding of the fearsome god of mischief. Well, that was basically you Loki the Cliff Show and only one episode in. <laughs> Ooh, just showing him stuff he doesn't know. Please, don't make this worse. What is this? Nonsense. More tricks. It never even happened to you. Yeah, about that. The TVA doesn't just know your whole past. We know your whole life, how it's all meant to be. Think of it as comforting. This is absurd. Not exactly comforting. And then the Dark Elves attack the palace, and you think you send them to Thor. You might want to take the stairs to the left. But instead, oh. you send them. Oh, that's a yeah, that was technically his fault. Now, why don't you tell me, do you enjoy hurting people? I don't do you, you enjoy killing? I'll kill you. What, like you did your mother? Ooh. Is he wearing Velcro shoes? <laughs> you were born to cause pain and suffering and death. That's how it is. That's how it was. That's how it will be. All so that others can achieve their best versions of themselves. I mean, yeah, he's the reason why they became together, so... One good deed, I guess? I think he stole your thing, you dude. My job. Okay, Loki, I think we can finish up tomorrow and just pick it up. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> that was on you, dude, for actually getting close enough to him. God, this dude with the core is just so ugly. Ugh. Yeah, I wish you hadn't interrupted us. Me? It's my fault. Tidy cubicle, hey, healthy you, timeline. Give me the tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. What's a fish? <laughs> he just has it sitting in a desk? <laughs> what? Is that dice? Dungeons and Dragons?
dragon's dice? We actually got a lot of those. Yeah. Some of the guys use them as paper weights. Oh. Wait a sec. Ooh. Please tell me they're not infinity stones. Are those the fucking infinity stones? Are you shitting me? Thanos spent how long looking for all these things, and they were just lying in some dude's desk drawer this entire time? <laughs> I mean, I guess since magic doesn't work in this area, then True. I guess they and really the are powers are negated, yeah. yeah. Worst father ever. show his actual death and <laughs> not the time that he faked his death. Uh-oh. Ooh, she gonna annihilate your ass. She's gonna reset you so hard. <laughs> First she'll break your bones. <laughs> did he teleport her or did he blink her out of existence? version of him? Or is it the, another mythological version of him? You know, every uh, mythology has their own uh, mm. chaos god. Wait! Someone's mm. out there. Voldemort? Oh no, the pawn! Oh no one's gonna have my legs broke! Yeah, so let's uh, bring in the theories how this is Mephisto. <laughs> I don't know, you think they really go there? <laughs> so much paperwork. God, it's like being back in my job. <laughs> <laughs> Executive producer Tom Wilson. The rubber dial. <laughs> no, look at all these like old fashioned like. Really? <laughs> It's like for a place that, you know, controls all aspects of time and stuff, you'd think they'd have more advanced technologies than some of the stuff that we've seen. But look at that! Like you'd think maybe there'd be sort of this mix of sorts of, uh, technology throughout time. Like I said, the whole thing looks like it came out of, like, the ugliest part of the 70s. Mm. <laughs> the Affinity Stone was a paperweight. Mm. <laughs> this music's also weird, too. Mm. I think we'll get a uh, post-credit scene or 
hard to say. It is only the first episode. I know. Wow. <laughs> you made a statue of his ugly face. <laughs> well, inter interesting first episode. Going through all the red tape and the uh, line waiting and the paper filling out and oh dear god, this reminds me of my job so much. <laughs> But Tom Hiddleston is a treasure as always, like I said. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just love how, you know, he's just thrust into, like, the most boring environment ever, and yet he somehow is able to make it entertaining. Mm. Uh, so what do we even talk about? I know, like, I'm like, I'm kind of at a loss here. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not, it wasn't a bad first episode, don't get me wrong. I mean, mm -hmm. this is, we're being introduced to this whole new world, and I'm not sure what I was expecting in terms of, like, a place that controls all space and time, but you, considering how bureaucratic they make it. I guess it's perfect the way it is with the whole mismatch of technology and all that. It's just, uh, it's like, it's just so weird. <laughs> well, I guess uh, one thing I didn't want to talk about is uh, him seeing basically how his life plays out. Because I had a feeling they were going to show him, you know, all of what happened, you know, in uh, what were all the movies that happened? Mm -hmm. It was uh, Thor the Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, that yeah, Infinity and then War. Infinity Wars, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, though, like, what was more shocking slash disappointing to him, seeing his how his, how his death rolled out, or seeing that um, he actually had the capacity for good? Because, I mean, obviously he could tell that no matter what he did, he was going to lose, and he was going to die without any sort of perp his grand version of purpose being fulfilled. So we got that out of the way, at least. I mean, it's interesting that... He says that he doesn't actually enjoy hurting people. I felt that was a little different than what I would have expected. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess he's he's in it for the chaos of it, but, you know, harming people is more the necessity, so I guess he has to find some sort of way to take pleasure in it if he has to do it. Well, I mean, obviously he takes pleasure in mm -hmm. fucking with his brother. Well, yeah. That, that, <laughs> There's definitely given. that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, Interesting that he actually showed sorrow over Odin dying. That has confused me too, because yeah. like, his whole big turn about like him proclaiming himself the villain was, one, was when Odin told him that he was adopted. And that pretty much shattered any dreams he had of ever taking the throne, because Odin basically gave him false hope. So hence why he decided, you know, fuck it, I'm just going to take it. Like, I can understand that, and I know... Things didn't get any better between them, between that part and then Ragnarok. And technically speaking, it is also Loki's fault that Odin died. Yep. Because he sent him to Earth in a yeah. freaking old person's home. <laughs> I, I just can't get over that. <laughs> when I saw that in Ragnarok, I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> but yeah, the fact that I guess, you know, despite knowing this, despite knowing all he's done, despite knowing that he's the reason his mother died and yet his father still said he loved him, I guess that's what really struck a chord with him. But again, it's like, who do you blame? Do you blame Loki or do you blame Odin for oh, basically Odin creating for the, this whole scenario to begin with? Odin, yeah. like, <laughs> on the one hand, he did rescue him as a baby because yeah. otherwise he would have just, you know froze to death, but the fact that he made him believe he had a shot at the throne, but still favored his brother, like, that really is what's mm -hmm. fucked up. And it's weird, too, because the way, if you look, if you go back and watch the original Thor, when you see the two side by side, how they started, this, the way it's set up, it feels like Loki's the one who's going to mm -hmm. be the hero, because, you know, he's the one that you know, is at the disadvantage, while his brother is, like, an arrogant blowhard who thinks he's just going to get everything handed to him easily. And that stays that way up until he goes to Earth, and then it switches. But yeah, like, I always found that part confusing, because it's like, once he finds out his origins and stuff, and that, you know, even though his father, like, still saved him anyway, he just like, okay, well, I'm evil now. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that was abrupt, but whatever. <laughs> we need our bad guy, so... <laughs> Yeah, in case you can't tell, I, I don't care for the first Thor, at least I don't care the way it was written. I, I really thought that, you know, they could have done a better job with certain aspects, especially his heel turn. Like, they could have either had it so that he was evil from the beginning, or something really drastic happened to make him 
become a villain. Because the way they, they did that, I just did, I didn't like it. Because it's like, you know, he should, if anything, be more grateful to his family for actually, you know, taking him in. But, nope. <laughs> And heck, he was in a position where he could have easily just been handed the throne had he just behaved himself and not, you know, picked a fight with Thor. Mm. So, again, he Loki mm. does what he does best and fucks up a good thing. <laughs> but I think he got better as the movies went on. Because I think once they realized that there was a likability about him and that they can bring him back for other stuff, that's when his character got a lot better. Like... He's still kind of a villain, but in a fun way, as opposed to just a straight-up murderous way, because honestly, I think his most murderous is in the Avengers, you know, especially when he gouges that one guy's oh, yeah. eyes, eyes out. No, that, that was peak. Yeah. That, that was when he, yeah, was, that was, when he was like peak a legit villain. threat. Yeah. But like his other times, he more or less is an anti-villain, and yeah, he still fucks his brother over, but it, it's not as dire as you know, the first time they tangled, or even during the Avengers. It was basically like, with Thor the Dark World, he, he managed to seize his opportunity to take leadership over Asgard. So it's like, in the end, he got what he wanted. I still kind of want to know how he managed to do it. <laughs> how he managed to fake his death, and then, you know... Get back into, uh, you know, the palace, get Odin transferred to Earth into the freaking, uh... Yeah, they never, yeah. Could, like, properly explain that. And my only guess is that Odin was so grief-ridden at that point that he probably didn't know what Loki was doing and just didn't care. You know, he's like, okay, fine, throw me an old folks home. You know, doesn't matter anymore. My wife's dead and my son doesn't want the throne and, you know... Whatever, I'm just going to go chill on Earth until my inevitable death. <laughs> Still not a good thing to do, especially considering because he dies, that's when uh, Hela gets released, but... <sighs> Again, father of the year. First father ever. <laughs> Honestly, it's a tie between him and Star-Lord's dad for, like, the worst dad in the Marvel Universe at this point. <laughs> but yeah, I don't fully blame Loki for the way he turned out, because he kind of was set up to fail... It only makes sense that once he realized that, he kind of compensates to make it seem that he is worthy of the power and the glory, even though it's quite obvious he's not suited for it. Because think about when he actually did get power, what did he do? He laid on his ass watching these his, the people he uh, ruled over do a crappy little play about him. And he started, Mitt Damon! <laughs> like, I think at best he just would have been an ineffective ruler at worst he just would have been like a shitty ruler you know like he would attempt to like take over things but you know just wouldn't it wouldn't pan out <laughs> or he just completely you know he, he'd be so preoccupied with his position and you know how he looked versus you know doing his job and thus you know things don't get done and Asgard winds up suffering. I mean, that's kind of where it was yeah. heading when uh, Ragnarok happened. Because we knew that, you know, the whole prophecy for, uh, what, what was that demon guy called? You know, where he was supposed to... Oh, uh, the, the big uh, guy that winds up destroying Asgard. Yeah, it's, it's been a while yeah. since I saw Ragnarok, for, forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, like, we knew that that was in motion to start happening. I mean, Thor already saw it happening, sort of. It probably just would have happened a little slower had Thor not intervened, I guess. I love how we're basically, we're talking more about the movies than the actual show. I mean, the, the whole, they were showing clips from all the other movies. I like, know, This I is know. like Loki the clip show in only the first episode. Some of them think of like Clerks the Animated Series where they oh, had yeah. a clip show in their second episode. And it was of the first episode and then stuff that hadn't even happened. <laughs> Why are we walking like this? <laughs> <laughs> Plus... Aside from, like, aside from the flashbacks, there, when you think about it, not much really happened in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other interesting thing to talk about is, you know, who is the big baddie that Loki's now going to have to take down? Is it literally himself in, like, an alternate form, or is it possibly, you know, some Pantheon's version of him? Cause some that, copycat. Well, not copycat, because as I, like, I've studied... It's John Walker. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
he just he just shows up with the Loki's giant helmet and just winks at the camera like, with a shitting grin. <laughs> just to fucking troll all the fans. <laughs> that I would pay more. To see. <laughs> but I mean, is that every pantheon, you know, Greek, Egyptian, Norse, so on and so forth, they each have their version of, you know, the god of trickery or whatever. Yeah. So it stands to reason that's what who they're talking about. And of course, everyone's going to bring up Mephisto again, especially since that one kid mentioned that he was looked like the literal devil. And if they do bring him up in this, again, I will be shocked if they do. And if they do, they probably are going to, it's probably going to be a very subdued version of him. Mm. I mean, we already see for starters that the guy is nothing to mess with, assuming it's a guy. Mm. I don't know what sort of being this is. Because we saw that, like, he's took he's taken out, what, five time agents so far? Like, the guy in the first, in the beginning, the second... Like, I don't, I don't think they showed him, but at least they mentioned him. And then, of course, those... Th was it three guys we saw at the end? Mm. So, obviously, they know who the time people are. They know how to kill them, and they're effective. We have our big baddie in the shadows, everyone. Mm. So, go ahead, throw out all of your, uh... Throw out all of your Mephisto theories. Or it could so be so somebody from the agency taking advantage of, you know, the fact that, you know, they have Loki in custody now. And it's like, oh, you know, I could pin this on him. That would be a nice twist. Yeah. And honestly, considering the fact that they have almighty Infinity so just lying around the office for anybody to steal, it would be... Like, totally shocked me if not at least one of them went rogue, took some of that shit, and started using it in other timelines. Like, you, you can't tell me that that's never happened. Honestly, I'm surprised with, like, the t there wasn't, like, any aliens there. Because they kind of set it up to be sort of a whole men in black type thing. So you think, like, and considering they, they are in charge of, like, billions of people across so many different time streams and we know that there are aliens you know on other worlds and in disguise and whatnot you think there would be some of them actually you know working in this office or at least being held prisoner a lot of potential this one who mm -hmm. said even though like i said not that much happened aside from you know some jokes about going through the red tape and seeing the whole clip show plus the bag air reveal like there wasn't there isn't that much to talk about hence why we talked about thor and all of them Loki would be so pissed at us right now. <laughs> but uh, I look forward to it. And uh, like with uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, there's only six episodes. So we know this will most likely be condensed in terms of what's going on. Whether or not it's going to end on a consistent, like, shocking cliffhanger sort of like WandaVision is yet to be uh, determined. I kind of hope not because I don't think anybody could take that again. Mm. <laughs> Although, I mean, it's good to have cliffhangers. You know, they keep you drawn in. It's just... When you're doing like it on a doing on a heart attack level every episode, that's when it gets a bit much. <laughs> anyway, I've, I thought all the actors were good. Mm. Owen Wilson, Owen Wilson, it it up. <laughs> I mean, he just kind of seems like himself pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and I like the little uh, little fifties cartoons and stuff. Mm. It's like you said, it's like watching like Rocky and Bullwinkle mm. or like Jetsons or like those crappy uh, comic cartoons. From the early 50s. Mm. So. so I wonder if they're going to show more of that. Because that would be pretty cool. Probably not. I, I would imagine it's only going to be. You know because they were using it to introduce the uh, the time variants. It's going to be like a WandaVision where yeah. they just update it. Like with everything. Because you know time mm. goes back and forth all over. Honestly I, I mean. I could be wrong. But I don't really see any more reason for them to use that. Uh, I guess you know. not, unless, you know, some device mm. comes up that needs instructions. <laughs> could be, could be. Maybe, like, I see it, you know, a previously on uh, mm. segment or something at the <laughs> beginning. Maybe, but as of right now, I'm going to say it's probably just going to be the first episode. It's not going to be a regular thing. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Anything to add? Any predictions of what we're going to see next week? I mean, obviously they're going to recruit him to work mm -hmm. for them, and he honest, he has to at this mm -hmm. point. I mean, he knows there's no purpose in going back to his timeline, so he may as well get comfortable in this one. So I think the question is whether or not he can take the new uh, bad guy or not. Hmm. Yep, he's going to have to go through a whole arc, I imagine. Do you think he'll actually become a hero, or do you think he'll still stay, like, anti-hero, maybe anti-villain or something? 
Hard to say. It's still too early. Yeah. It's still too early. We, we gotta see where this journey goes. Yeah. Maybe after a few episodes we might have an idea. I mean, I like the character development so yeah. far. I mean, his reaction to seeing how the rest of his life plays out was pretty powerful. Mm. I imagine, you know, from here on out, it's probably gonna be gradually a path of him getting to where he was in that timeline, sort of, just maybe a little different. Mm. Either or, it's mm. something to look forward to. So until then, everyone, I'm Kat McBerry. I'm Doug McBerry. And this has been Loki Vision.